Today's plenary proceedings transpired in an almost empty chamber as majority of the MPs stayed away. At the beginning, only the State Minister of Finance, David Bahati, was present on the government side, but he was shortly joined by the government chief whip Ruth in Nankabirua. So I don't have any requests for absence from any of them, so I expect them to come. On the order paper was a motion by the Ministry of Finance to allocate funds for the operationalization of the 10 new cities and Terogo district carved out of Arua district. By resolution, the minister responsible for finance to allocate funds from a vote to another vote where the functions of a vote are transferred to another vote. The Ministry of Finance wanted Arua city to receive 26 billion shillings, Mbarara 43 billion, Jinja 35 billion, Fort Porto 21 billion, and Imbale city 42 billion shillings. But as Minister Bahati proceeded with these allocations, Dokolo South MP Felix Okoto Gong rose on a procedural matter challenging the legality of the allocations. According to Ogong, there is currently no law operationalizing the existence of these cities akin to the Kampala Capital City Authority Act for Kampala City. But just to circumvent, bring a motion that is against a law that has been, has been passed. Madam Speaker, there is even no law operationalizing these cities that they have passed. We don't even know the structure. Madam Speaker, as we talk, there are no division councils, interim division councils. There are no city interim councils. And therefore, whatever we are talking about here will not be operational on ground. Speaker Rebecca Kadaga concurred with the MPs, citing the need to amend the Appropriations Act before effecting these allocations. Secondly, I agree with the colleagues that uh, you cannot amend the Appropriation Act by resolution. We appropriate this money for particular functions. If they are going to be altered, you come with a, a, an appropriation amendment bill, which should go to the committee and be discussed. Questions were also raised on the accounting structures within the newly created cities. You cannot move money from one agency to another without having the accounting officers of those agencies agreeing on how that money can be moved and how it would be put back. And who are the accounting officers anyway? You haven't given us a list of accounting officers. So who is going to look after this money? So, Minister, I think uh, you are... Act section 20, which allows us, which allows Parliament to authorize the Minister to allocate the funds from one vote to another when the functions are, ch are changing. So Have you created the, the votes for the city? Have you created the votes? Yes, the votes are there, Madam Speaker. Under which law? Hmm? Well, you know, you need the Appropriation Act to create those. You need an Appropriation Act. Minister Bahat later asked for more time to sort out the concerns of the House. Habad Ziwa, NTV at Parliament. Madam Speaker,